Okay. I don't know why my shit keeps cutting off. But I don't know if you heard me, but the last thing I said was, uh, she said that, uh, she said, you look, I got a boyfriend. And I was like, yeah, no. I just know. But I don't want to deal with that ex boyfriend shit like I did with the girl in Syracuse. I'm going to stop saying names too because. I gotta edit these tapes. I'm gonna take the names out and shit so nobody try to sue me or no dumb shit like that. You know how a bitch always try to take advantage of a nigga and shit. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm recording shit in my Blackberry Bowl. I'm about to get that Blackberry Torch. The phone service I got right now is messing up, so I'm gonna switch my phone service. NTT, what up? But yeah, man. Hung out last night at Applebee's. It was real cool, man. And now I feel like a lame because I don't want to text a girl too much and have her thinking that, oh, this nigga's a lame. He texts me all types of day and shit, all times of the day and everything. So I don't know how to approach it, man. Like, self esteem, when it gets low like that, I don't know what the fuck to do, yo. I really don't know what to do at all. I don't even know how to approach females no more, man. Because uh, I don't talk to them no more. Back in Colorado Springs, I had my pick. I could take a pick. Pick and choose, pick and choose. But Rochester is hard. The first girl I messed with started talk, stopped talking to me. And I really did like her. She was a basketball player. She played for U of R, everything. And I was like, damn. I hope I get a chance to get it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. <sighs> I, hope, I hope she regret her decision. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to be on a reality show trying to pick out a girl and shit. I want something. To, I want somebody to be genuine. I want me for me, not because of the bread. <sighs> I go see Dr. Finnegan around with the VA. I gotta get these damn bumps hurt. All up under here. I gotta get uh, that, that procedure. I feel like a rubber band's popping, but that shit hurt like a motherfucker. It hurts real bad. Hurts. I'm trying to give me a new song. Hmm. See, why is this shit on here? I do this every Sunday. Actually, yeah, every Sunday I do this, man. Just listen to old school shit, but it's not Sunday right now. It's Tuesday. September 21st, my sister's birthday in six days, I had to empty up my IRA because I ain't got no bread, man, underdogs, once again, trying to do the right thing and I don't get shit for it, so hey, fuck it, um, yep, that's about it, yo, still trying to find a girl, I talked to, uh, Scooza's mom, she just called me, I talked to her, for about an hour. She's still hurting real bad. Hurting real bad, man. It's almost a year anniversary of them, them dudes dying and shit. Already, it's almost been a year, man. Already. <sighs> Hopefully, if I get put on next month, man. Stephen Colbert, Eminem. Y'all don't even know how hard I'm relying on y'all right now, man. And this is some real shit. It's still November 21st. Family Guy is on TBS right now. November 21st, 1025, in case I want to think this is fake, you know, and if you want to think that's a recording, let me turn to something else, I'm about to turn to ESPN, see what's on ESPN, what is this, the World Series of Poker, I hate that shit, 
to go old white dude. But anyway, back to Family Guy. And back to me, more importantly. <laughs> yeah, man. Got a call from Pastor Marlo today, and he gave me encouragement saying that um, he's proud of me and just God is going to bless me in ways that I can't believe. And I really believe that, though. I really do believe it because I got too much potential, and I've been waiting too long, too patiently, just to be passed by. I swear I have, man. Too patient, too long. For too long. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna show you what it's at right now. It's about right there. I'm gonna make a video later on tonight and see how far I get down on it. It's about right there. Smear off, Rochester. We out.